Hey, what it do, man? I'm gonna start out by saying salute, Kwame, man. Salute. Salute. Keep standing on these whole ass nigga necks like that, man. Mr. Skinny, salute, man. Mr. Skinny, don't take that whole ass nigga serious, man. That nigga still ain't came to Dallas, dog. That nigga still ain't came down here where we at, man. We been waiting on him. We been, he said he was gonna fly in. That nigga said he was gonna drive down here, man. That whole ass nigga ain't came nowhere, man. Mr. Skinny, don't take that nigga serious, bro. Don't take him serious. He's the biggest snitch on YouTube. The biggest snitch on YouTube, man. This nigga's the worst a nigga ever touched a motherfucking YouTube boy, man. Real talk, man. Quiet, man. A lot of these niggas mad, man, because you stepped out the paint. You know, a lot of these niggas want to step out the paint, man. These niggas robot-ass motherfucker, you feel me? And when you robots, you're on the program to do certain shit. So just think about it. Niggas hating because you got drafted. Niggas hating because you made it to the league. Niggas hating because you had a chance to bounce the ball and throw that bitch in there. Nigga, you played with so many motherfucking top athletes. Do they understand who you were playing with? Do they understand that you was a kid among grown men? It's different now. It's different now. You get what I'm saying? So, nine times out of ten, these niggas that's blogging ain't never touched the motherfucking ball, dog. These niggas can't do nothing but talk this shit, man, and, and, and act like that they really proving a point. Y'all got to understand, man, some of these niggas doing this shit for clout. And when I say for clout, some of these niggas ain't never had a lane ever in life. Never. Never. When it was time where motherfuckers had a chance to get attention, niggas wouldn't go for it. Soon as you able to get in front of a camera and talk that shit and say certain shit, you feel like you Superman and shit, man. You know, sometimes, man, y'all got to understand, some of these niggas, man, is just niggas that sit up at the house, man, and play with theyself and shit, man. You know, they don't, you know, they use the internet, you know, just to get by and shit. Y'all gotta understand, man, some of these niggas really ain't got it. Some of these niggas really ain't focused right here. You know, some of, you know, you can't even really sit and listen to niggas two and three minutes real talk. You just, it, it's just so much bullshit they say, it just fucks you up, man. You wonder, how, like, as grown, man, how can you keep talking like this? How can you keep saying this type of shit? Most hated block, you the most wackest nigga ever touched anything, dog. You talk about everybody. You done went so far, nigga. You got in Kwame case, nigga. You wanted to get in the case so bad, nigga. You want the attention so fucking bad. You ready to get elected, dog. And the campaign you running, man, they going to burn their ass up, nigga. They going to burn their ass up, first of all. You sit back and watch niggas' camera, watch niggas' videos, and sit back and take it to the more weak-ass robots you got. I've never saw a bunch of grown-ass people follow behind some weak-ass people. I ain't never saw that shit. I ain't never saw that. Now, if you from the hood, it's different from being from the hood and a different living in the hood and not going outside. It's a big difference, bro. Some of you niggas might live in the hood and then go outside. Some of you niggas might just went over to your granny house and didn't go outside. Niggas probably kept getting beat up so motherfucking much you never went outside. But when it was time to represent, you represent the shit out that hood, bro. Come on, man. And they can't take you niggas serious, man. I ain't never saw a lot of niggas want a lot of niggas go to jail on police type shit. Never. Never. How can you want somebody to go to jail for something you don't know if they did or didn't do it? Y'all niggas tripping, man. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping for real, man. And then these NBA niggas getting mad at Kwame because he's speaking. Y'all want to go against niggas. Y'all niggas feel like y'all money. Feel like the child, you know, that somebody lost out somewhere. Say, fam, y'all can't knock this nigga, bro. This is how he feel. This is how he feel, bro. This is how he feel. Y'all mad? He told y'all he from the hood. So he ain't tripping about that shit y'all talking about. Any nigga from the hood ain't tripping about no bullshit. If he ain't never had none, y'all think he tripping? Certain niggas that trippy, you know, you know, you got some stingy ass, selfish ass nigga. I'll give it wrong. But I'm just saying, you got bloggers today going against the ground on everything. You got these niggas talking so much shit. You got these niggas, but then when the, when the shit turn around on your ass, you niggas start getting cookie monster and shit. Say, fam, nine times out of ten, Half you niggas ain't probably never, ever been on no real street shit. And y'all the one talking. Like, y'all the one talking. 
Mose the blogger, you talk about everybody, dog. You talk so much shit. You talk about everybody. <clears throat> you talk about they mamas, they daddies, everybody. Nigga, you sit behind a, a computer, nigga. You ain't come out. Can't nobody really take you serious, dog. Then you got blonde dreads, bro. You got blonde motherfucking dreads. Nigga, you a whole faggot. Nigga, you ain't got no facial hair on your face, no mustache. Nigga, you ain't got nothing, nigga. You ain't got a scratch on your fucking arm, nigga. You was a fucking drag queen, probably, dog. You sit back with all them old ignorant ass people cussing people out. Man, that shit don't intimidate nobody, bro. You get in Kwame business. You get in Dolphin business. You get in Mo3 business. You get in Nipsey Hustle business. You get in Beyonce business. You get, man, somebody is going to tear your ass up, nigga. And you keep talking about your kids. Bro, you don't want no, man, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't put your kids out there, bro. You done did too much fuck shit. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. Then you got all them old robot-ass people with you, follow behind you. Nigga really don't even understand how nigga can just sit up and just watch your ass all fucking day. I'm going to tell you why people like us watch your ass, dog. Because you messy as fuck, and you, you say nigga's name on the slick side, but then when somebody call in, your bitch ass don't want to let them up. You block them and everything. You a hoe, nigga. You don't let nobody come up and say nothing. You want your whole chat Everybody to agree with you, what you saying. Nigga, just because you said it, it goes that way. Nigga, fuck you. Nigga, don't nobody give a fuck about you. Nigga, you ain't that motherfucking serious or crucial like that. You get mad when nigga baby mamas and shit say something. You want to go say something about somebody, but soon your motherfucking people come up, you don't want to let nobody out. Nigga, let somebody up and talk about you, nigga. Let somebody know how you really is, nigga. Let somebody know what you really like, how you really get that whole ass, nigga. Nigga, let somebody do it, nigga. Nah, you don't want nobody to come up and talk. You block people, then talk shit. Who in the fuck can defend themselves, nigga, if you already blocked them and then you talking shit? Nigga, you you talking to kids and shit. You punking kids, nigga. Real grown man, you scared of that. You scared of that. Mr. Skin and them handled the shit out your ass over there. You were trying to talk to him, and the mother two niggas were roasting your ass. Bro, tan your ass up. You a big old ass baby that stop in the middle of your shit, say you finna go fix some cereal. Say you finna go fix some ravioli. Nigga, that's cool being down here, but nigga, you a big old ass baby, nigga. You probably the type of nigga where you and that bitch arguing with your kids over who who had the goddamn me cinnamon roll. That was mine. Who had the oatmeal cake? That was mine. Why y'all eat my piece of chicken? You a whole ass nigga like that, bro. And you sit on the internet and talk shit about people, not thinking that somebody gonna tear your ass up. So you can say what the fuck you want to say, dog. You can say what you want about it. I don't want to give a damn, dog. I'm not going to I ain't going to do all that shit with you doing, bro. I'm not going to do what you doing, fat. Nigga would never do that. All that shit just to get some funk-ass views. All that shit to get some funk-ass dollars. Just so people can know that you don't give a damn. Nigga, you was a whole bitch, boy. Nigga, listen. You went at Kwame, nigga, because... You weak, bro. You went at him because you thought he was weak. Nigga, you thought this man was weak, nigga, just because you heard what everybody saying. Nigga, tow your ass up, nigga. Say, bro, first of all, for you to even feel some type of way about him, nigga, you must like that nigga or something. You got to like that nigga. You done went so deep and got this nigga mama, R.P., man. You don't want to got this nigga brothers, his uncles. You went and got where they kicked it at when they went to Family Dollar. You went and got where Carmen got his car from. You went and got talked to the lawyer, his baby mama case. Man, y'all don't think that sound like a hoe ass nigga, man? Come on, man. Just like these hoe ass. Come on, man. Y'all know you got niggas that do shyest ass shit. That's one of them, man. That's why you ain't got you and you too much. You got partners. What real niggas gonna vouch for you, nigga? To the shit you doing. They must be fuck boy like you, but they want, but you want to hire them and tell them to go fuck somebody out for the shit you say, nigga. You crazy, nigga. You crazy as fuck, nigga. You crazy as fuck, nigga. You real crazy because first of all, you goofy for even feeling like somebody intimidated by you, dog. You is a whole bitch. You got into it with the skinny nigga, Mister Skinny. Talking about how these niggas fucking each other and shit. Bro, you is a homo, nigga. You are a homo. 
You weren't, a, you are a homo, nigga. You went, you go that deep with the news. That deep, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't get it, bro. Then you try to house out on Dallas and shit. Say, bro, everybody in different lines. Everybody in different lines. You just a whole ass nigga, though. You just a whole ass nigga. You, you really is, nah. You really is. That's what I'm saying, man. Nigga don't understand you, bro. Nigga don't understand you, dog. Nigga don't understand how how you as a man can feel like you doing something right. Like, how can your son, if you got one, sit right there and see his daddy doing whole ass shit like that? Man, come on, man. Nigga gonna be messy like the little girl. He gonna be all in school talking about what the teacher doing, why the teacher went here, she went to go use the back. You making your son a whole, whole you tripping, dog. Like, bro. You tripping, man. You tripping, man. Like, you talking about everybody else. You are the most hated blogger because you do the most bullshit, the most gayest shit, the most homo shit. Man, that's some homo shit. Then when somebody call in, you block them. Then you get mad when they don't speak what you want to speak. You was that little kid, dog, where it was three or four of y'all coming up, and everybody went to go play football. Yo, little bitch ass wanted to sit in there and play with your mama nails and shit and go put her wigs on and shit. You know, we come in there knocking on the door like, come on out, dog. You coming out to play? I'm coming out in a minute. You and that bitch sitting on the toilet trying to act like you a woman and shit, bro, when you probably be letting the lid up and dropping your shit. You a whole, whole ass nigga, bro. Real talk. I'm just saying. Check this out, bro. It don't make no sense for people to even follow you, dog. Because you talking bullshit. You lying the most out of everybody, bro. You lying the most out of everybody. You can go react this motherfucking video. You just make sure you react the right part. You can go react the curtains, the sweater, the motherfucking hair. Right? Man, I don't give a fuck, man. You ain't doing shit to me, man. You ain't doing nothing to me. You don't intimidate me, dog. Then what I don't get is why do people sit back for another motherfucker and tell somebody something so they can sabotage them. For the people that do that, that's why a nigga tell y'all, y'all need to get a knife and just get that bitch and just, ah! Yeah, fuck yourself, fuck, because that's goofy as fuck to work for another motherfucking grown man after you get through coming from busting your ass from 9 to 5 or 3 to 11, you want to come on the internet and work for somebody else on some information. Fam, go get a motherfucking police job. Go back to college and get y'all a degree. Go get a motherfucking, uh, go go tell somebody that uh, you want to do some paperwork or something. Like, y'all doing whole ass shit, man. Y'all really is. Y'all really is. You know what I'm saying? But salute, man. Hey, but check this out, man. Y'all tune in to Trigger Man, tell them bang, bang, man. Monday through goddamn Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Poo Black, King Guys, Kimbo. You know what I'm saying? Trigger Man. You know, from 10, 10 to goddamn 1 p.m. Not 1 a.m., I bet. I'm tripping. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. See? I ain't built for this shit like that. I'm trying to do a motherfucking commercial and, and should have redid the motherfucker. 1 a.m. 1 a.m., man. And you know, hey, man, one thing about it. When you come on here, you can be yourself. But all that self-snitching and telling all on somebody else and... It's good to speak your opinion. It's good to disagree or agree. Now, we can agree all day, disagree. I can have my opinion. You can have your opinion. But me going deep into your shit and I don't know you? Come on, man. Niggas is paying for niggas' information just to make somebody like, y'all fucking goofy, man. Y'all goofy for that shit. Y'all goofy. Y'all say anything. He molested them. He raped her. He ain't got this right here. He did this. Go back and get all y'all pictures, nigga, 10 years ago, and I bet all you niggas were goofy as fuck, nigga. Let's try that. Go get your shit 15 years ago. I bet you niggas were goofy. Try that, man. Try that, man. Real talk. You niggas were goofy, man. Real shit. Hold on, man, but in the meantime, man, in the meantime, put that old hat right there, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, man. Come so back to the shit. Hey, the hat said hood survivor, man. I'm a hood survivor. We real life hood survivors, man. And you know, this hoe right here say, I need all the money, man. I need all the money, man. But say, man, you know, you can't be yourself on this hoe, man. It's just so many people trying to do shit and trying to make you look bad, man. Fuck y'all, nigga. Fuck y'all, nigga. For real. Fuck you, nigga. That's what you tell them, man. You know, people be thinking they be really doing some shit, man, when they be saying shit about people and... You know, man, y'all don't fucking scare nobody, man. Like, y'all niggas, some, all y'all whoever try to go out and do an old police, say, y'all niggas, man. Nobody can, y'all are undefeated. You undefeated. You undefeated. I just don't understand how can you talk so much shit by so many people and not expect for the, the hand to turn back on you. I'm talking shit. Well, it's because you, nigga, you be talking shit, and you a whole-ass nigga because you talk a lot of shit, nigga, a lot of shit. You think somebody's scared of your ass, nigga, because you sit back and got all type of people in your shit. Bro, you a whole, you got no face for her, bro. Let's see you get a haircut one day. Matter of fact, yeah, let's see, yeah, nigga, let's see you get a haircut. I heard you on one motherfucking live talking about when a nigga asked you about the haircut shit, you talking about your partner cut your own hair, cut their own hair. Man, y'all niggas some homosexuals, nigga. You a homosexual with the ass, nigga. You that much of a man where you don't you got a problem with her cause you was a homo, nigga. That's why you the type of nigga argue with your girls, your baby mamas and shit. You probably argue with them all day every day. That's all you did, argue with them. That's why they probably that's why you know if they come up here, they gonna fuck your career up. You know that, dog. You know that. But say, man, y'all stay tuned, man. Real tough. Salute.